Hello everyone and welcome again to another tutorial from GlamourKey.com. We want to clear up any questions that may come up about 2K and how to work with 2K in a 1920 by 1080 environment. Seems like everybody's going for HD nowadays and we just want to clear up any questions that might come up with how the 2K will fit in a 1920 by 1080 environment. So let's take a look on our site, we're going to go to the guide to file types, and I want to show you a couple things in here. Let me zoom in, and you can see all the different file types that are out there. You've got DV, 720, 1080 HD, which is one that we're going to talk about, 1920 by 1080. Uh, you have your 2K, which is what we're selling on Glamour Key that's available for immediate download, and that is uh, 2048 by 1024. You can see that those two frame sizes are very similar, but a little bit different, and we want to show generally how they're going to play out in a timeline. The other one is the big one, the 4K, which is 4096 by 2048. Now, we also offer that... 4096 by 2048 uh, that is available to be shipped onto a DVD or a thumb drive. So if you want the original raw footage that was shot from the red camera, that is available. And we can uh, definitely send that to you. And we're also including the, uh, the shipping. The shipping is free. So we'll take care of that for you. But we'll get the DVD or the thumb drive out to you. Okay, so let's zoom back for a second. And how does this play out when you look at the 1080 HD versus the 2K? Now, on our site, we put up a little graphic here, which is the compare 2K to 1080 HD. And I'm going to zoom into this one so you can see this a little bit better. Now, in the white, you have the 16 by 9 ratio, and that's the 1080 HD. And in the green, you'll see the 2K which is a two to one ratio. And the uh, frame size again is 2048 by 1024. Now, when you look at this, you see that our green rectangle is pretty wide and it extends out just a little bit from the right and the left side of our 16 by nine ratio. So what does that do for us if we're gonna put this clip that we just bought, let's say, of a 2K shot on a timeline that's currently set up for 1920 by 1080 or let's just say 16 to 9 ratio you can see on this graph how you might clip just a little bit on the sides now we gave this a lot of thought when we were shooting with the red camera how would we go about offering the footage do we want to go and and crop it and do all that and and give it to the end user that way or do we want to give it to them untouched which is leaving it in the two to one ratio that the camera shoots. Now, we went with leaving it to the two to one ratio, and I'm gonna show you why. When we go into Final Cut Pro, here we've got one of our clips here, this is Linda, and I'm gonna drag and drop it on the timeline. This is a timeline that is set up for standard HD, 1920 by 1080. Here is an example of the 2K clip that we bought from Glamour Key. So let's take this and put this onto the timeline. And it's going to say, attention, this clip does not match the sequence settings or any of your sequence presets. Well, that's okay because I know that that's the case. I've got a 1920 by 1080 timeline and I'm trying to put a 2K on there. So I'm just going to say, no, do not change the sequence or the timeline, basically. So by doing that, now the clip sits on the timeline and you could see what's happening here if you look we've got our entire two to one ratio clip that is on the timeline and we've got a little bit of a letterbox kind of issue going here at the top and bottom so we're gonna have some black borders at the top and bottom now if you're doing you know hd you've been shooting with 1920 by 1080 obviously you're not going to have those borders so here you have red footage that has the borders because of the uh, the ratio that we're working with in this 16 to 9. So let's take a closer look at what's really happening here. So when we go into the motion tab, you'll see that our scale is set at 93.75. Now, I didn't do this. I just brought this clip in, put it on the timeline. It automatically zoomed the clip out because, remember, 
the left and the right side of this frame is extending out a little bit because it's, it's like trying to take a very wide rectangle and stick it inside another rectangle that's not quite so wide. So it's zooming the clip out just a little bit, and that's why we end up with the 93.75. Okay, now, what if I put this to 100, which is what it would be if this was a 1920 by 1080 clip? Now you could see where this is starting to look very, very similar to our graphic that I showed you where you had the green box and the white box kind of overlaying each other. You, you just have a little bit of kind of a letterbox thing going on or a little bit of the borders at the top and the bottom. Now, to get rid of that completely, all I do is just zoom in 6%, and that's it. I just simply just typed in a 106, and now the clip is perfectly framed up. Now, I said earlier I want we went with this because we were looking to give you endless possibilities and at glamour key that really is what we're all about we're trying to think ahead of the curve we're trying to think ahead of the end user what does the end user want well we don't color correct these things really really hard we want the sh shots to look very nice and we try to give them to you in a in a perfect perfect way we key them out beautifully but that being said I don't want to like crunch the blacks insanely. I don't want to do things where it takes it away from the end user because you may want to color correct this a little bit more and help it blend into your other shots that you have on your timeline. So we thought about that with color correction. We thought about, okay, what about the frame size? How's that going to work? Well, if we go and crop these, the left and right side, and set this up for 16 by 9, well, what if the end user was shooting with the red camera? Well, now they've got you know, uh, more of a squarish rectangle that they're trying to now put into a very wide rectangle. So by doing it this way, now what the end user can do is we can actually, because we kept it in the two to one ratio, we zoomed in at 106 or just 6%. Now watch this. I actually have the ability now. You can see where the ends are uh, of the clip. I can just move it around a little bit now. This gives me a chance to say, well, what if I want to put Linda Moore on the right side and throw a logo and some text up here? Uh, you know, it just, it's stuff like that, that we're trying to help with keeping our shots as very generic as possible and give you as much flexibility as we possibly can. The great thing about the red camera is it shoots very cinematically. I love the film look that the camera gives and provides. I love the two to one ratio. I think it has a very cinematic look. So if you have flexibility and you want to just leave it the way it is, I think you're going to find our clips are fantastic for that. But I think you're also going to find that if you're working on a project where you desperately need to stay in a 16 by nine environment, just doing this little step here, you're not losing any quality at all. The shot looks absolutely fantastic. And again, that is if we were to buy the 2K and download it right from a website. Don't forget, keep in the back of your mind, we also have the original 4K raw files. So if you want to have unbelievable flexibility and really zoom in and do pan and scan and crazy wild stuff, you have that option. And that is the beautiful thing about Glamour Key keeping the possibilities endless. I'm John Schellinger. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And again, keep your eyes peeled for more tutorials in the future.